How can we model the transport of air pollutants? As we have already learned, the air pollutants are transported by winds. However, we also need to take into account the dilution of the plume and the lifetime of the pollutants in question. Also, the vertical mixing affected by the stability and vertical motions in the atmosphere need to be taken into account. As well as the removal processes, dry deposition, when particles stick to surfaces and fall out of air by gravitation, and wet removal by rain. Examples of air pollution transport modeling we will go through here are air mass trajectories and dispersion modeling, box models, and some examples of advanced modeling. An air mass trajectory is a simplistic representation of the most probable path of a single air parcel. It can be calculated from the reanalysis weather data backward or forward in time to get a first estimate on where the air is coming from or to where it is going to. In dispersion modeling, footprints of the source area or dispersion of the plume forward in time can be calculated, including dilution of the plume and sometimes also the lifetime of the pollutants. Box models allow us to take into account the chemistry of the air or other removal processes. Each air parcel is considered as a box of air where chemical reactions happen. When we combine transport modeling to chemical modeling, more advanced air quality models can be formed. You have now studied six lectures of meteorology and transport of air pollutants. You know the basic structure of the atmosphere and what does it consist of. You know what are the main forms of energy in the atmosphere. You can name the main greenhouse gases and understand why an increase in their concentrations warm our climate. You can explain how the following atmospheric flows transport air pollutants. Convection, land sea breeze, geostrophic wind and general circulation. You can describe how weather phenomena remove air pollutants from the air. As a conclusion, you know what you need to know to be able to model the transport of air pollutants. In case we assume they do not transform, for example by chemical reactions, which is actually the topic of the next lecture.